Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Tina and today I'm going to take you through the solution to question 3 from this Leaving Cert higher level paper and this question is worth 30 marks and it's based on the circle chapter. So let's get started. We're told that the circle C has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 8y plus k is equal to 0 where k is a real number and that the radius of C is 5 root 3. We're asked to find the value of k. So we can see that the equation of this circle is in the form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And this is in the log tables if you're not sure of this or if you don't remember it off by heart. And when a circle is in this equation, the radius of that circle can be written as root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So what's the difference between this equation here and the equation of the circle? First of all, this equation here has 2g in front of x. So we need to work out what g is here. So here, 2g is the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x in the circle that we're dealing with is minus 2. So g is minus 1. And now let's work out what f is. So 2f is the coefficient of y in the general equation of the circle. The coefficient of y in the circle we're dealing with is 8, so f is equal to 4. So now let's fill this in for the equation for the radius and let it equal to 5 root 3, because we know that that is the radius of the circle that we are dealing with. Let's just replace k here with c, because they're both just a constant term. So instead of c here, we can rewrite that as k. So the radius is equal to g squared, which is minus 1 squared, plus f squared, which is 4 squared, minus k, and that's all equal to 5 root 3. So now we're left with 1 squared, which is 1, plus 4 squared, which is 16. So we have 17 minus k, and that's equal to 5 root 3. So let's square both sides. So when we square the left-hand side, we're left with 17 minus k. And now let's square the right-hand side using our calculator. When putting this into the calculator, it's important to use brackets because you're squaring the whole 5 root 3, okay? Because if you don't use brackets, it may just square the root 3. And that is 75. So now minus k is equal to 75 minus 17. So minus k is equal to 58. So that means that k is equal to minus 58. And that is our final value for k. So I'm just going to draw a box around it, as that is our final answer. And for this question, you're going to get five marks. On to question B, we're told that the circle x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 20, has a tangent at the point 9 minus 4. We're asked to find the slope of this tangent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our log tables to see if there's any formula that will suit this question. So on page 19 of the log tables, we can see here that our circle is given in this form for the equation. And then here it has the tangent at x1, y1. So we're given a tangent at a certain point, And this is the equation for that tangent. So I've just brought over this formula here directly from the log tables. So now let's see what we can fill out. So we know that x1 is going to be 9. This is our x1 value here. And y1 is going to be minus 4. So that's the point on the tangent. h here is going to be plus 5 because it's in the equation x minus h and then y minus k here. So then k is going to be minus 2, because this here is in the, in the form y minus k. So now let's fill this out. r here is root of 20. So r squared is 20, because again, that's in the form there. r squared comes after the equal sign. So let's start filling this out to get an equation for the tangent. So we have x minus h. So that is x minus 5, x1, which is 9, minus h, so 9 minus 5, plus y minus h, which is y 
minus minus 2, so y plus 2, by y1 minus k, which is minus 4 minus minus 2. So that's minus 4 plus 2. And that's equal to r squared, which is 20. So now let's start multiplying this out. So here it's going to be 4 multiplied by x minus 5 plus, and this is minus 4 plus 2, so that's minus 2 multiplied by y plus 2. And we can just get rid of this x here because it becomes irrelevant, is equal to 20. Let's multiply out. So we have 4x minus 20 minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 20. So we're left with 4x minus 2y minus 20 minus 4, so that's minus 24. Bring this over here, it becomes minus 44 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of this tangent. Now, how are we going to find the slope from this equation? To find the slope from the equation of the line, we need to write it in the form y is equal to mx plus c, and then m here is our slope. So let's rearrange it into that form. So let's leave the y over here on the left-hand side. So minus 2y is equal to, bring this 4x across, so it becomes minus 4x. Bring this minus 44 across, so it becomes plus 40. Four. Now, this only works if y has no coefficient, so we need to get rid of the coefficient of y. So we're going to divide across by minus 2. So minus 2y divided by minus 2 just becomes y. Minus 4x divided by minus 2 becomes 2x. And then 44 divided by minus 2 becomes minus 22. And be sure to check these with your calculator if you have any doubt when doing these calculations. So now it's in the form y is equal to mx plus c, and we know that m here is our slope. So the slope of the tangent is equal to 2. And this is our final answer. And for this question, you're going to get 10 marks. Finally, let's go through the third part of this question, part c. This part definitely requires a bit more thinking than the other two parts of the question, but we're going to go through it step by step. We're told that two circles have both the x-axis and the y-axis as tangents, and each contains the point 1 minus 8, as shown in the diagram. We're asked to find the equation of each of these circles. So to find the equations of each of these circles, I'm first of all going to write out the general equation of a circle. So that's going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, and the centre is going to be hk and the radius is r. So now what we need to understand is that for both of these circles their center is going to be the same number positive and negative. So say here if this if the center of here is 2 it's going to be 2 minus 2. If the center of it is 6 it's going to be 6 minus 6. And that's because it has the x-axis and the y-axis as tangents. So whatever value this is, and we're going to call it r, the center is going to be r minus r. So this here has to be minus r. And that's the same here. The center of this, if that's r, this is going to be minus r, okay, because this it's on the y-axis, but it's below the x-axis, so it's going to be negative. So that is also going to be the radius because, and I'm going to draw the radius in pink here, the radius is going to be this line. So as you can see, that is out to r. So the radius is r and the center is going to be r minus r. So for both of the circles, the center will be r minus r and the radius is r. Now, we know that both of these points contain, or both of these circles contain the point 1 minus 8. So let's fill out this equation here with the information that we have so far. So we know that the center is r minus r. So h is equal to r and k is equal to minus r. So we have x minus h, so minus r squared, plus y minus k, so that's minus minus r, which is plus r, is equal to r squared. Now let's fill in 1 for x and minus 8 for y. So we have 1 minus r squared plus minus 8 plus r. 
squared is equal to r squared. So now let's multiply this out and find a quadratic equation in r. So then we're going to find two values for r and then it's going to be obvious which values for r are corresponding with each circle because obviously the values for r for the smaller circle are going to be smaller. So let's continue and multiply out what we have here. So I'm going to put in my back to back brackets. So one by one is one and then you're going to have one by minus or and then again minus or by one so I'm going to have minus two or minus or by minus or is going to be plus r squared. Here we're going to have minus eight by minus eight which is 64. Then you're going to have minus eight by r and then or by minus eight you're going to have minus 16 r and then you're going to have or by r which is plus r squared and let that equal to r squared. So now let's write this as a quadratic. So on the right hand side we have two r squares. So two r squared but then we're going to bring this over and it's going to become negative. So it's going to be two r squared minus r squared so we're going to be left with r squared. And I'm going to cross those out because I've used those. And now let's deal with our r's. We have minus two r minus 16 r so that's minus 18 r. And we have 1 plus 64, so that's plus 65, is equal to 0. Now, let's work out two factors of 65 that will add together to give us minus 18. So go to your calculator and do a bit of trial and error. Go 65 divided by maybe 3, and that doesn't work out. We'll go 65 divided by 5, and that does work out, so we have... 65 divided by 5 is 13, and we can manipulate 5 and 13 to give us 18 here in the middle. So let's see how we're going to do that. So it's 5 multiplied by 13 give us 65, but also minus 5 multiplied by minus 13 do give us positive 65, and they add together to give us minus 18. So this is our perfect pair. So we have r squared minus 5 or minus 13 or plus 65 is equal to 0. Here we're going to take out r, we're left with r minus 5, and then here I'm going to take out minus 13, and we're again left with r minus 5 is equal to 0. So r is equal to 5, and r is equal to 13, because r minus 5 is equal to 0, and r minus 13 is also equal to 0. So these are our two values for r. Now it's obvious that this is going to be corresponding with the smaller circle and r is equal to 13 is going to be corresponding with the larger circle. So let's fill these in now to create two equations for the small circle and the large circle. So I'm going to draw a line down the middle here, one for the small circle and one for the large. So we remember that the centre was r minus r and the radius was r. So the center here is going to be 5 minus 5 and the radius is 5. So here the center is going to be 13 minus 13 and the radius is going to be 13. So let's use the original general equation of the circle and that was x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So here we have, this was h and this was k for the center, h, k, and let's fill these out for each circle. Let's start with the small circle. So that's going to be x minus h, so minus 5 squared plus y minus minus 5, which is going to be plus 5 squared is equal to 5 squared, and that is 25. So this is the equation for the smaller circle. And then for the larger circle, we have x minus h, which is going to be x minus 13 squared, plus y minus minus k, which is minus minus 13, which is plus 13 squared, is equal to 13 squared, which is 169. So these are your two equations for the circles as requested. And all together for this question, you're going to get 15 marks. So that's all for this question, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and that it might have cleared up any questions that you had when going through the question yourself. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.